And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor, and today I thought I'd do a video on something that's been sort of kind of bugging me for a little while. How do you get an expression pedal to work when you want to record uh, a wah track, for example, using Amplitube in Logic? Uh, it took me a while to work it out. I think I found a solution. Uh, if you have an easier solution, let me know in the comments below, by the way. Uh, before we even start, I should mention that um, all the IK Multimedia stuff, Amplitude, the interface, all this stuff has been supplied by uh, IK Multimedia. Uh, it's sort of, I guess, through that sponsored by IK Multimedia. They didn't ask me to make this video. I made this video because I was kind of interested in working out how to do this myself. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, so the software and the interface I'll be talking about in a second was supplied by Arkham Multimedia, just so you know. Okay, so first things first, how do I even connect uh, and a lovely El Cheapo expression pedal such as this, which has got cobwebs on it, uh, to uh, my interface and to um, Amplitude? So my setup for today, I've got uh, the Axe.io solo interface by our multimedia sitting here. And that's connected to my computer via uh, USB and that's going into logic, you know, standard kind of stuff. Now, for this particular thing, I'm using this thing, which is an Airstep uh, MIDI controller by Exonic, which is killer. And there will be a video of it um, coming up shortly, like a full video of it. This thing is insanely good, um, just saying. Uh, again, this has been supplied as well to me, but it is actually amazingly good. So this is actually connected to the Axe.io via old-fashioned MIDI cable. So there's a, the MIDI out port on here. There's two MIDI out ports on here, but I'm going from MIDI out into MIDI in at the back of the Axe.io. Now, some interfaces will not have MIDI. Uh, you can also do all this stuff via USB. So you can connect this via USB straight to your computer and set it up that way and use MIDI via USB. That's all doable as well. The thing it definitely needs is, uh, like in this case, it, I have an expression output. Now, what the expression output does is that is now connected to these this El Cheapo uh, M gear. So I think it's an M audio cheap plastic um, expression pedal. Now, I'm gonna put this, actually, no, I'm not gonna put this on the ground. So that's how it's connected. Now, what I'm doing is, uh, let's just start Let's look at Logic now. So I'm gonna create a new audio track. So I'm plugging my guitar, which I'm gonna get in a second. That's plugged into the front, into input one. So I'm creating a new audio track. I need input one. There's, you know, you can have it as input two or in stereo input one and two, but we don't want that. I want to be input one going in. Okay, that's created. That's for some reason panned to the left. Let's pan it, let's center it. Let's make it a bit bigger too so we can see it. So this is my audio track, right? And I wanna record uh, a sweet wah guitar solo. So let's call this sweet wah guitar. Because you should always, um, if I could spell it right, gi guitar. Because you should always get into the habit of naming your tracks. It makes life way, way easier. Okay, so what I would usually do is I would go down, and this is in Logic, right? So we're talking Logic, other DAWs will kind of probably work similarly, but slightly different. So uh, I've got this, guitar track, or oh, I've got this track, right? So input is input one, says it down here. Now I'm going to my uh, audio effects uh, and it's up here. Usually you would go into audio units and then go into IK Multimedia and then there's all the stuff. See, this is all the stuff that they've supplied me with. And then I go to Amplitude 5 and let's go mono to stereo. Why not? Because I can. So then they'll take a second to load up. Here it is. Uh, and uh, this is actually Instantly, one of my favorite things about Amplitude, it's resizable to whatever size you want the window to be. So this is just the default setting. Now I can pick up my guitar, which in this case is this lovely Fano Omnis MG6. There's an unboxing video for that here. Killer guitar, this has been supplied to me as well, just so you know. That's why there was that little logo up the top um, saying, you know, um, what is it called? Includes that, um, promotional material, whatever it's called. Um, okay, so this is now, hang on, and I need to turn the input thing on so you can hear it now. This is just a default setting in Amplitude. Right? Now, uh, the way you would kind of add a wire is you click on the effects, you scroll down to filter, oh, hang on, we've got to scroll up in this case to filters. 
Where is it? Did I miss it? Filter here. And let's use, oh, let's use this cool old Ibanezoir, right? Or Ibanezoir. So uh, at the moment, it's there, but if I want to use it, I need to use a mouse, right? And whenever there's a wah, you can't help but going, it's just one of those things. It's there, right? But I want to use it with this. So how do I do that? Okay, so what you would usually kind of do, or the your first thought of how you would do it is, if you right click on this, this little window comes up, where you can assign automation and you can assign a MIDI. Wah, learn wah. You you'd think that would do it. Now what it does is it's waiting for MIDI inputs. It's what's called MIDI learn. MIDI learn means it's waiting for any MIDI information and then it will assign that function to that MIDI information. So you'd think if I do this, but it ain't. Now you may be thinking, oh, maybe Logic isn't getting any of that, but you can actually check. So if you look up here, where it says no in at the moment, if I move this, see how the numbers are changing? So this is the MIDI information that's coming in. So it's MIDI information 0 to 127, right? Because it's basically like, um, as, you're moving, as you're moving that pedal for each tiny little increment of movement. It's just a step basically, right? Uh, and all you're doing is with a while, you're assigning that, you're assigning where that position is relative to the time of where you recorded it. So logic is receiving the MIDI information, but for some reason I can't assign a while to that. Why is that? Okay, so here's the thing I worked out. What we're gonna do now may sound crazy, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna completely get rid of amplitude. We're gonna go no plugin, bye bye amplitude. And we're gonna mute this track, the Sweet Wah guitar track, right? Mute, forgot about it, gone. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a new track. We're gonna click on this little plus button here and create new track. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a software instrument. I know it sounds crazy, but we're gonna create a software instrument. And it already says Amplitude 5 here, but uh, if it doesn't say it here, what you gotta do is you gotta go all the way down to AU MIDI controlled effects. See, MIDI controlled effects, this is, it's all starting to make sense. And then you gotta go to IK Multimedia and you're gonna go to Amplitude 5 and let's just go stereo because why not? And then we're gonna click create. So what we now created is technically a MIDI track, right? So we created uh, the same kind of thing and in principle it is the same kind of thing as if uh, we have a, like a keyboard, right? We're playing a, a, a software based synthesizer and we have a, um, like one of, these kind of things, right? Like a MIDI controller keyboard. Uh, and we're using a software synthesizer on here. Now I know it's not a software synthesizer. Why do we need this, you ask? Okay, here's the thing. Because using this is pretty much exactly the same as using pitch or modulation wheel, or in this case, strip, uh, on a synthesizer. The only difference is when you're using a synthesizer and software synthesizers, that is built into the MIDI track, what you've got to do here is you've got to tell Logic at what point is the wah, at what point in your recording, do you have the wah there, what point is it there, what point is it there, you've got to tell it the movement or what's called the modulation curve. So it's a curve actually that, you know, it adds to the track that goes, okay, at 35 seconds into the track, it's all the way on the heel, but then it starts moving at 36 seconds, it's a little bit further, a little bit further, 37 and so on and so on. Uh, you need, um, you need a logic to know that. Now, the way you do this, if I would just play my guitar now, because I also muted the other track, there's no input. How do I get the signal to amplitude? Now, what you're gonna do is up the top here. So we, this is, again, your audio track, which is the Sweet Wah guitar track, has nothing attached to it. All it is, it says, we've got the signal coming in, so the input is one or whatever input you're using on your interface that where your guitar goes in to the into, into Logic is there. Now we've got the MIDI track where we loaded Amplitude, <clears throat> still only in a default setting, but you can get to any, any sound, right? You can go to any of this and use any of these preset sounds that you have or your own presets, right? It doesn't matter. Now what we've got to do is we're gonna move, well, first we're gonna introduce the wire, don't we? So we're gonna bring that Ibanez, Ibanez wah, back into here. 
Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's assign it to MIDI. So we're going to do the same thing again, right click. Let's try that. Assign a MIDI, wa learn wa. Now it's waiting for MIDI information. Hurrah, it works. See, now that works. Because now we're on a MIDI track and it needs the MIDI track to add the information of what, where the wa is in relation to the music. Now, but how do we get the sound in here now? So up the top here, top right hand corner, it says sidechain. At the moment, it says none. What we need to do as we're recording a song, right? So if you want to play the guitar and record it with the wah, what you need to do is you need to go, you need to click on this and you need to go to input. And now the guitar is plugged into input one. So we need to go to input one. Now I hear it. It works. Okay, now I can put this on the floor. So now what I can do is I can record my sweet wah guitar. <laughs> so I've got to make sure uh, the record light is on on both. Input is on on this. Uh, and then you can press, if you just press R on the keyboard, on the on your, this thing, uh, that is record, right? So you press R and then you can record your sweet wah track. And we had a count in, so uh, I'm going to record my sweet wire track, which is. I don't know. That's it. Press the space bar to stop. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, actually, let's move this down a bit, just so we can see. So now we have up here we have an audio track recorded. Down here we have this. So if I double click on this. Actually, let's get rid of that for a second, just so I can show you. If you double click on this and you go to step editor, this is actually what it is. So this show, this tells logic at what time. See, so there's all these different, um, on, let's zoom in a bit more so we can see it a bit more. Oh, we are pretty zoomed in. Um, so there's all, that's basically these sort of curves of where your wire was in relation to where you are on the track. Um, now, but now, so here's the thing now, let's put this down. Let's go, by pressing return, you go back to the start of the track. Let's press play, let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Maybe nothing happens because uh, mute is on. Okay, let's turn mute off. Let's see what happens. So that's only the dry guitar signal. Where's my sweet wah guitar track? So let's mute this again because we don't need this. What we now got to do, and this is where it gets a little bit complicated to kind of get your head around it, but once you get your head around it, it's not that hard. So what we did now with this sidechain thing up the top here is we wanted the signal that comes into the input on your interface to go into this uh, and then to, the, to your speakers. But now we don't want that anymore because we've recorded it already. So what you now need to change this to, instead of being on input one, you need to go to audio. And it, what what Logic does, and I'd say other um, um, DAWs would do as well, whatever you name the track, it tells you. So if you have 50 tracks, you find the one that's called Sweet Wah Guitar. You click on that. So now what it does is it doesn't assign the input, what comes into the interface, to this. It assigns what's on that track. And what we have on that track is this audio thing. So this, the audio that's on here is now going to go through this to your output. <laughs> so you can still have that muted, right? But we're going back to this and we're, I'm going to press the space bar to play now. And you can even see the wah pedal move, right? Because uh, it follows the modulation curve. Now, the other thing you can do is because you're not just limited to um, wah pedals or whammies or, you know, uh, pedals with expression pedals on it. You can actually assign it to any knob on any pedal. So let's say, I don't know, what about, uh, there's an echo man. Uh, I want it to control the feedback, right? So what I need to do now is I just do the same thing. I right click, feedback, learn feedback. There it is. Now it controls both. If I wanted to stop using the wah, I go to assign MIDI wah delete, right? So now it only controls the feedback of the echo man. Now you can also assign it to knobs on an amp. So for example, the preamp uh, or gain basically on the amp, right? 
you can assign it to that as well. It does the same thing. You can assign it to pretty much any knob and not just a knob, but you can have it doing a multitude of knobs. So if you really want it, you can also have it running the delay time. Um, the only thing is they're all kind of synchronized. So I don't think you can, well, I'm not sure if you can set it to different settings, right? Uh, so it just goes from <coughs> all the way off to all the way on. But that's basically it. So you can set it to multi, uh, at the same time, it also does that, right? So you can set it to a multitude of things. Uh, it's it's really quite a handy thing, and I hope that all made sense. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there is an easier way of doing this. Uh, you know the whole sidechain thing, but um, I'm not sure. Just let me know. Now I should also mention if you are a user of the Axio interfaces, the Solo and the Axio, they actually have a dedicated controller input in the back, so you can actually plug the expression pedal directly into that. You don't have to do the whole MIDI switcher thing. Um, I just did that to show how to hook it up if you're not using specifically the Axe.io input. But yeah, I think they have two inputs even, so you can uh, you can have an expression pedal and a foot switch connected so you can change, you can assign it to buttons and stuff, like turn pedals on and off. Um, I think that's about it. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know, know in the comments below. Uh, please make sure uh, to subscribe, put, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to find out when there's more videos like this um, coming up again. Uh, yeah, and uh, let me know if this was helpful at all. Uh, also, I just want to quickly say another big thank you to the awesome people at IK Multimedia for the Axe.io solo interface and all the software. Big thank you to the awesome people at Exonic um, for the S-Step. Stay tuned for a full video with that. This thing is killer. Uh, also, big thank you to the amazing people at um, Fano Guitars. Um, I love that guitar. It's such a great guitar. Uh, and Oh, and you're hearing my voice through a Lewitt LCT440 Pure microphone. So hello, Lewitt people. Thanks again. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.